Hi, I'm Beth and this is my dog Seth and today we we're going to talk about ways to reduce stress on our animals during the holidays. And so, you know, our, our animals really are happiest with structure and routine and when the holidays come around it it's, can be pretty, pretty confusing for them. So, I think that the best thing is exercise. I know with him, before company comes over, if I exercise him, he's so much better. He's calmer, he's less anxious, um, he's just a tired dog makes a better dog, really. So another thing is plan on when company comes over, reserving a familiar room for both cats and dogs that they can retrieve to if they get too excitable or too stressed out with all the, the excitement and things. Maybe put some toys in there and you know a bed and food and water and things so they can go to a place where it's quiet if they want to. Um, also, um, remember when company comes over, the doors open, it's a great escape route for cats and dogs. So, really important to remember collars with the name tags. Um, also, microchips are great. Um, we've had so many animals on the holidays that come in that are lost. And we have scanners that we check all of them to see if you've got a microchip. And we just wave a scanner over them. And they have their own ID and it pops up and we can call the owners and, and track them back. So it's, it's really something to think about and you just make an appointment and it's a, an injection and it's done in minutes. So it's a great form of ID for these, for these guys that would escape. Also remember the food. Um, a lot of people want to hand your animals food. They love it but it can give them tummy aches and then again you've got all the dangerous things like the chocolate, raisins, nuts, you know, all the dangerous food. So, Another idea would be maybe set aside a treat jar, break treats up into little pieces or the regular kibble. If people want to give treats, you can stick to that and then it'll save them from being getting sick. And so also, when we have guests over, a lot of times um, they're on different medications and they're not used to having animals and they might leave it on a counter and we see a lot of pets that come in that, that get into medications that they're not supposed to. So, you know, maybe have a designated spot for medications that, that your pets can't get into if you have people that spend the night. And so again, we wanted to, to remind people that it's just, it's not a good idea to surprise people with pets for Christmas. Pets are, you know, new puppies and kittens and even adult dogs are great, you know, during the holidays, but plan it out. So much fun to set things up and I, I had a little miniature size cage, which would be great for a little puppy, but just to, to show things that we need before we get a pet. Um, a cage to make them feel safe. Like I said, they, they like the structure and routine. They need a place to go. Pick out a nice bed, we got some toys in there, and there's really neat water dishes that you can actually put on the side of the cage and they won't spill it, you know, if you're gone. But, you know, leashes and collars and food, um, you know, they just need so much. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to go and plan. Pick out that special animal, go to the shelter, there's so many great dogs. And you, you can get adult ones that are already potty trained and ones that are used to cats. You can start fresh with puppies and kittens. It's a lot of fun to plan it out. And, and two, you know, they, you make a special bond with that certain animal. So just, just don't surprise anybody. And it's not fair to the animal or the, the person. Plan it out. It can make a great pet.